Prince George in white going from left to right. Troy City in blue going from right to left. Same referees tonight, Jake Bonan and Trevor Nolan. The Lions in those switching up Tyler Garden and Caden Fanshawe. Carlin Dezain, Tyson Greenway take the opening face off on a Saturday night at the CN Center. Glad you're with us, off we go here in Prince George as the Cats will win the opening face off and Orange Strom will play ahead. Two it back off for Sorale, left point. Goes cross ice, but her one timer stopped by Ravensburgen. The rebound stopped again by Ravensburgen. Two magnificent saves. Back to Sorale, cross ice, one timer blocked in front by Thornton. Comes out back to Mahura. And now Soralia will go back and get it. What a stop by Josh Ravensburgen once again. Five on five, Becker is out of the box. And it comes out back to the right point. Held in, Tri-City shoots up, rebound, scores! Poked in, Jake Sloan on the rebound as the penalty expires. And Tri-City has a one nothing lead. So the answer for the Tri-City Americans is Jake Sloan. And the question is, who would score their first goal of the season? It came just after a Tri-City power play. Sloan goes up that right wing to McMillan ahead of Jordan Gavin. Here's Gavin, nice move. Gets around the fender and holds. Centers in front, scores! Hammered home by Botcharov is first as a Tri-City American, and it's 2-0 Tri-City. Botcharov moves up in the play, takes the pass. He's right in the slot, a one-timer. It comes at the 11.03 mark. Knocked down by the Cougars. Jet Lejoie goes to McLennan. Nick McLennan left wing. He got dropped in front of the Tri-City bench. Big hit on that right wing side. Left wing, Max Coran into the middle for Goodell. He got dropped by Keaton Dowhenniak. Cougars respond to the big hit of their own, and it comes out back to Alex Soralio with seven and a half remaining here in the first period. Side fungal break up and go ahead of Parasag as he knocks it down out of midair. Parasag with Becker. Parasag shoots, goes! Tarek Parasag rips it by Avakian. A huge goal in the final minute, and the Cougars are on the board. Well, Parasag had that shot labeled as he's down the right wing. He's into the right circle, and he has a chance of a two-on-one into the circle, and then he just drills it. Down the middle, can Tri-City clear? They can't, it's held in. Zach Funk left circle, up top to Thornton. 50 seconds ago on the power play. Hudson Thornton with it, shoots, goes! Power play goal, tie game! Hudson Thornton got his first of the year, 2-2. Letting the shot go just inside of the blue line. Thornton on the power play. Uh, Mahur up the left wing to center, trying to drag in the middle, trying to power by Butchkowski. There's a penalty coming to Butchkowski. He's got the stick in the middle of the midsection of Mahura, and now Tri City going right back to the power play. The number 17, Zach Bump. Time of the goal. Here come the Americans. Gavin shoots, scores! <laughs> Right as the announcement of the goal comes to a close, Jordan Gavin gets a power play goal back for Tri-City, and they jump back out front. 49 seconds after for George and tied, it is the Americans on their power play. Get it for the Cougars. Lang's pass missed Thornton, and it's held in by Tri-City. Out the right wing, here's a backdoor play! What a save by Josh Ravensburgen as he robs Corral at door with the glove. What a stop by Josh Ravensburgen, and he'll head to an immediate timeout. He owes a Strom. Strom kicks it ahead behind the goal. Strom trying to spin it in front. He does. He shoots. He scores! Orange Strom has his first as a Prince George Cougar, and the game's tied at three. Well, Strom, hard work that pays off as he's able to get in front of the net, let the backhand go. Surprise to the American goaltender. Well, 10 seconds to go here in the second period. Held in by Tri-City. Here's Botcharov, shoots, scores! Pasha Botcharov sneaks it by Ravensburgen. It comes with 5.1 to go. A big one for the Americans, and they have the lead. Top of the right circle, Botcharov lets that shot go for the Americans, and he gives them the 4-3 lead, as we'll go to the intermission with that. Oh, but it comes down to Deegan McMillan. McMillan to Jordan Gavin. Gavin to McMillan, got a stick lifted by Becker. He goes, every pass scores! Jake Sloan has his second of the game. Nice pass, him behind the goal by Deegan McMillan, and it's 5-3. Yeah, Sloan is right in the right spot taking that pass as, you know, he increases the Tri-City lead to 5-3. Come out to the back to Thornton. 
Thornton, Becker left circle. Becker holds for the goal, tipped it from Perisak. Connects in there also in the back, he keeps it out. Oh, great goaltending from the Tri-City Netminder. Cougars that close to making it a one goal game. Yeah. Perisak with Zach Funk. Parasite got the right wing, finds Funk, he shoots, that's stopped by a back in. nice save. Right wing to Parasak, Parasak to Kometz, left point, Thornton holds, waits and goes to Kometz. Kometz shoots, scores! <laughs> Don't go anywhere, William Kometz has a Cougars within one, with 2.35 remaining in the third. Yeah, Kometz gets his fourth in two nights. The key to this goal, he was able to keep the puck in at the blue line as the Americans tried to clear it out. Here he comes, Kometz out of his own zone of center. Nice move, but it's broken up. Sloan has the empty net, and he'll score. And that will do it here tonight. That comes at 102, and it's 6-4 Americans. Hat trick for Jake Sloan, empty netter. Sloan started the scoring. Sloan will likely end the scoring. That's gonna do it, Tri-City splits the weekend. Both teams will be one on one to kick off the season. Some pushing and shoving after Bauer getting into it. Took a bit of a shot there at Jake Cadell, but the Americans win it 6-4.